Good morning guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with another big 39 hour catch of gag grouper, mangrove snapper, and more. Captain Garrett and the boys just got back in, got a lot, a lot of mangrove snapper, big vermilions, almacos, yellowtails, some porgies, some big scant grouper, some solid gags. Look at that scant. Beautiful. Some toro, good variety of fish. Pretty decent gag grouper bite and uh, solid mangrove snapper. They definitely did well on this 39 hour trip. They even got a keeper carbo in the pile there. Wasn't real monstrous, but hey, that's a pretty cool catch. Looks like you guys did really well, Rick. Uh, Will, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we did well. Uh, nighttime, let me think back on it. Uh, the night wasn't on fire. We picked out of the night and uh, had a decent sun up bite and then it did well pretty much the whole day. Most of the fish came in the daytime. Which if you guys have been out lately, that's what's been happening lately. And uh, we fished a little deeper this trip than we have been and found a new school of gags out there. And it probably got like 15 or so off of one spot. And I uh, got some more to go get for the next couple of weeks. Nice. New knot of fish. That way we can keep targeting these gag grouper before they end. Season closes December 31st. We still got plenty more 39 hour trips to go if you want to get in on this gag grouper action. And then after the first of the year, we're going deep water red grouper fishing, right? We threw back a lot of big red grouper this trip. We had a 10 head red grouper spot a bit of big ones nice this trip and we're getting them right back and uh, as quick as you can you know and uh, those things will be out there january is a great month for deep water so january 1st just because gag grouper ends doesn't mean we don't have plenty more to go target big big red grouper mangroves lane snapper will reopen we got a few big lanes this trip we had to throw back and uh, it'll be good to start keeping all those guys again so we're only losing gags and we're gaining red grouper when we're fishing deep for those big red grouper we see a lot of these big scamp and big vermilion and big vermilion too yeah and some big uh, uh porgies and those a lot of times we'll see those red porgies out there in deeper water too. Yeah, we got some this trip. They're around, and the vermilions, we haven't been getting many vermilions lately if you guys have been out with us. And we, we turned the corner a little bit on them this trip, and it's almost big vermilion time, like a bunch of them this size coming up. Big vermilions and uh, more porgies, more red grouper after the first of the year. But from now to the end of the year, we got gags, mangroves, scamp and all the beautiful fish you see here. I appreciate it, Will. Thanks, yes, buddy. Sir. Oh, well, one last question. What was the hot bait this trip? Uh, the, I'm pretty sure Threadfin's got a lot of these gags. The big, the big one, for sure, was on a Threadfin. And uh, the second biggest was on a half-day bait, I have a few. A half-day bait and Threadfin. All right, what was that Carbo caught on? That was a, another half day bait, I think. Half day, so people going out on the half day before the 39 hour, getting those big select baits and using them to catch these big gags and cargoes. I appreciate it, man. Thank yes, you. Sir. Solid catch of fish. Ooh, big old pile. All right, you guys ready to get this? Y'all let us know real quick, guys, if you're on that side of the dock. Wow. Hey, uh, well, you guys saw. Captain Garrett and the boys did well this trip. Some solid gag grouper action, mangrove snapper, and many, many more. Hopefully you get a chance to join us. The weather right now, we have that high pressure still kind of settled into the area. It's going to be relenting slowly, and it looks like we should have some solid uh, fishing opportunities over the weekend. The weather's not too bad for us to uh, stop getting out there. Uh, on the bigger boats and uh, near shore stuff, but it is going to be a little chunky today, tomorrow, and into uh, Saturday offshore for the smaller vessels because it's a solid three, three and a half, four foot sea because of this east wind from the high pressure. That high pressure will subside as a low pressure sweeps down into our area, but that's not scheduled until around Monday, and it looks like it's gonna break down to an occluded front before it makes it to our area, which means we shouldn't see really significant weather from it, but we will get a little bit. 
So the best day in the next five days or so looks like Sunday. Backside of that high pressure before that next uh, big system pushes down. So that should be our best opportunity to get out there Sunday. Uh, and uh, as far as near shore fishing goes, five and 10 hour trip area, uh, none of it looks terrible through the weekend. Uh, only around two foot, two to three foot. Uh, so it's nice near shore. It's just the further out you go, the more exponentially rough it gets because of that east wind and high pressure. So hopefully you get a chance to join us and hopefully you'll get a chance to take advantage of this great fishing we're seeing near shore, lots of hogfish couple gag grouper uh, offshore as you can see a lot of gags a lot of mangroves solid yellowtail almacos and more and then don't forget this weekend we've got fox 13 tomorrow morning at 8 15 saturday morning we've got our real animals radio show from 6 a.m to 8 a.m and then sunday night we've got our live stream show where we're talking slow pitch jig fishing with a special guest, Jamin Vereen. So stay tuned for that. Lots of good stuff going on this weekend on our live shows, radio shows, and Fox 13 reports, and then plenty of great trips here at Hubbard's Marina from dolphin tours to island trips to shelling, snorkeling, and deep sea fishing. So hopefully you can come out and join us. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Have a great day, y'all.